Hello everyone! Welcome to my friend Tinder's kitchen where I'm going to show you how to make homemade Reese's peanut butter cups. These are a favorite in my family and I can't wait to share the recipe with you all. First, we're going to need to assemble our ingredients and prep our cooking sheet. You will need chocolate chippets, peanut butter, coarse salt, icing sugar, coconut oil, table salt, and graham cracker crumbs. Next, let's get our muffin tin and paper liners. We're then going to line the muffin tin with the paper cups. We're gonna set this aside for later while we start making the chocolate. Take a small microwave friendly bowl and add one cup of chocolate chickens and two teaspoons of melted coconut oil. Place in the microwave for 20 seconds, stir, then repeat until the chocolate is smooth and creamy. Careful as you pull out the melted chocolate. Not everyone has furry paws like me. The chocolate is hot. We can now put one and a half teaspoon dollops of chocolate into the paper liners. Place the chocolate in the freezer for about 10 minutes to allow it to fully set. Next, we're going to prep the peanut butter. Get another microwave-friendly bowl and then spoon in six tablespoons of peanut butter. And then place it in the microwave, cooking until it is melted and warm. This should take about 20 seconds. Make sure not to overcook it though. No one likes burnt peanut butter. Blech. With your peanut butter all melted, we can now add in a quarter cup of icing sugar. Four tablespoons of crushed graham cracker crumbs and one eighth of a teaspoon of salt. Stir until the peanut butter and dry ingredients are fully mixed and smooth. This sure looks yummy. Let's get our chocolate from the freezer. Now that our chocolate is hard, we can add the peanut butter. A good way to do this is by using the back of the spoon to press onto the chocolate discs. About one tablespoon per cup should do the trick. Smooth it all out so it is evenly spread. These are looking good. Let's get the remaining chocolate sauce and pour it over each cup. You can tap the muffin tin gently to smooth out the chocolate.
And now for the finishing touches. Let's sprinkle some of the coarse salt on top of our chocolate cups. And we're almost done. Return the chocolates to the freezer for 15 minutes so that the chocolate can fully set. Gosh, these look delicious. Who's excited? I know I am, but there's just one more step before we can enjoy the treats. Let's remove the chocolate cups from the paper liners and place them on a serving plate. You may need a human to help you with this. They're now ready to enjoy, and if you do have some leftovers, which I don't think you will, store the extra in the fridge. I hope you enjoyed this how-to video on how to make homemade Reese's Cups. Click the like button if you too enjoyed the recipe, ring that little bell, and subscribe! Until next time, later days from Tinder's Kitchen, bye!